Hey, this is Rolf Versus with Zen Cash. You'll see me on the Zen Cash Slack as Block Ops, and I'm here to give you an update video on how things are going. Uh, it's June 20th. We've been live for almost three weeks now, and got a lot of things going for us. First off, if you haven't heard about Zen Cash before, let me give you a quick overview of what it is that we're all about. So, we're a privacy focused cryptocurrency with the idea of being able to do transparent transactions, shielded transactions, as well as private messages within those shielded transactions. So we've gotten a lot of that technology from Zcash, which is a fine organization. We're taking it in a slightly different direction because we're very focused on users and usability and the reliability of the system, as well as the usability of the different parts like the wallets and other things like that that people touch on a day-to-day -day basis. We've got funding through a treasury, so we take a redirection of the minor, mining rewards and put that into a treasury that is able to be spent by a governance organization. So right now we're going for the governance organization, we're transitioning from the founding leadership and working to create a republic, republican type governance organization where there's representatives that are able to vote on projects and different things like that. We still need to build that part of it, just like there's a few different parts that we need to build. Um, secure nodes is one of the things that's coming next. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. But big picture, you all need to know that we've got a vision and we've got a plan. We've got a white paper that we've laid out uh, that me and the other founders, Rob and Jane, uh, put together and wrote. And Sometimes we go through and get things done faster, and sometimes we do things in a more methodical pace, but it's important for you all to know that we still are behind the vision of that plan, and we're working through and getting things done. So let me give you an update on where we are so far. So we've got lots of really good things that have happened so far. One of the things that I'm most excited about is we've gotten an engaged and a big community, and that makes such a big difference in the cryptocurrency space. There's a lot of people that are excited uh, about what we've talked about that we're, we're going to do, and, and part of that reason is that we came from that community and, and said, well, this is, this is what we want to do. Um, we've got lots of miners. Mining and hash power and lots of nodes, that's an important element to the infrastructure of the system that keeps it running, that keeps it strong, that keeps everything going. So I'm very proud to say that that's built up rapidly and right now miners see that we're a, a good profitable uh, cryptocurrency to mine and hopefully it's going to continue that way. We've got investors. So one of the things that I really enjoyed doing when we went to the consensus show in New York City uh, about uh, last month was talking to a number of different people that were already investors in Zen Cash or wanted to find out more about what it is that we were going to do so that, that um, they would be able to invest in early and be able to be supporters of the cryptocurrency. So I really appreciate the folks that are doing that. Right now we got 1.5 million Zen that are out there and that's because we launched Zen as a chain split from Z Classic. So anybody that had Z Classic when we were at block 110,000, then was an awarded an equivalent amount of Zen. And that gives us right now a little bit over a $10 million market cap. And that's great because there's Zen out there that people can buy, that people can sell. Uh, miners are, are getting them and bring them in, into the exchange to sell. And that's giving the investors and other folks the ability to, to buy. So it's a, it's a good liquid market at this point in time, as far as I can tell. And we've got great exchange support. Bitrix has been a great partner for us and continues to be. Uh, people have also been trading on Trade Satoshi, uh, another good organization. And uh, we've, uh, we're about to get listed on CryptoDAO. So we like having exchanges, we like having lots of exchanges. Uh, the ones we have right now are great for us. So can't uh, really happy about that. We've also got desktop wallets. So right away we've got desktop wallets for Windows, Mac, and Linux. We've got the Swing Wallet, which has been around for a while with Zcash and Z Classic. Uh, one of the community members ported it over to Zen Cash, and it works really well. And we've also got the Elios Wallet that's been tuned up, and that works well now too. So it's great to have multiple wallets out there. Let me talk a little bit about our organization right now so you know who the people are that are doing things 
uh, here for you at Zencash. So right now we got our founders, Rob Viglione, and myself, Rolf Persus, and Jane Lippincott. And we each do different things, and we work together really well. And uh, Jane's in the uh, Far East, in, in Shanghai, uh, sometimes in Hong Kong, um, and does a lot of the outreach and uh, doing things in uh, Asia for us, which is going to be a really a large part of the people that are going to want to be using Zen. And she's been doing a lot of organizing of the translation of the white paper into different languages, really big on the internationalization and, and outreach. Rob is the, he's got the vision of what we're doing with Zen. He did put a lot into the white paper, does a lot of the interviews. He has a lot of contacts within the cryptocurrency world. And that's helpful because people that have been done this type of stuff before and know people that can help us out, that leads to um, lots of good opportunities coming along. I've got experience for, of technology, leadership, um, was an officer in the Navy, uh, electrical engineer, nuclear engineer, uh, Annapolis grad, so leadership. Uh, started my own business in 2002 in the IT space. Did all the work myself. <laughs> was installing a bunch of firewalls you know, back in 2002. Before that, I worked for Cisco Systems. I grew my business and sold it in, in 2014. And I'm standing right here in my one of my Bitcoin mining facilities and mining a lot of Bitcoin. And then for my GPU miners, uh, I've got about 30 of those, eh, 40 of those. And they're all mining Zen Cash right now. So that's the founders. We've got some excellent advisors that just have a lot of experience and contacts in this industry. And we're so fortunate uh, to be working with Charles Hoskinson and Stephen Neryoff. And in fact, one of the things that Charles did is he helped us with a uh, Team Veritas. So some really talented uh, cryptocurrency and C++ developers that have been working alongside our community uh, devs uh, to do all the software that we've updates that we've done so far and are working on the ones that we're going to be releasing here in the next week and two weeks, uh, that kind of stuff. So I feel that we have a good, strong organization that works well together and meshes well, and we've got uh, really a bright future ahead of us. Let me give you an update on what we're doing with our software. So the main part of our software that was derived from Bitcoin and Zcash is our Zen Node software. So one of the big differences that we have in place right now is that it's got transaction replay protection. That was an important thing to put in place as we did a chain split from Z Classic to make sure that there weren't uh, transaction replays happening. What we've got in progress, and we've been testing for about five days now, is the BIP, the Bitcoin Improvement Protocol 115 version of transaction replay protection. So this protects us not only from uh, Z Classic, which we did a chain split from, but if someone does a chain split of, Z, of Zen Cash, it would protect against transaction replays from that direction as well. Next thing on the uh, that we're developing on the Zen Node software is OpenSSL. So that would be where all the Zen Nodes would be able to use uh, TLS certificates and do fully encrypted communication between the nodes. That's part of the plan that we have in the white paper, which leads us directly into secure nodes. So the secure node system is being able to take this type of Zen node and for people to run it, put 42 Zen, at least 42 Zen on it. And then what we need to do as part of the organization is build the challenge and tracking system, the challenge and response tracking system and then the verification and payment system. So we're already working through that on an internal document for the specifics. You can expect to see the details of that soon for community comment because we want people to poke holes in it. The idea is that we're going to have several thousand secure nodes out there that, that are uh, able to help run the entire system and are going to be reliable and be able to have full copies of the Zencash blockchain as well as to be, have the enough, trans, enough computing ability to do shielded transactions on them. It's important if we're going to really be a private coin that we have a system that has enough 
shielded transactions happening on them and enough publishing happening from them so that there isn't people that are able to watch what's going on with the nodes and deduce activity from the metadata and the node activity. So by having the secure node tracking and payment system out there, that'll cause a base level of shielded transactions and publishing and things like that so that when people layer on others, it's a small amount of noise on top of that instead of big spikes. Anyway, um, and then wallets. So right now we've got a version of the Swing Wallet that one of our community members, Al Persh, ported over to Zen Cash. It works great. I'm running that thing on my, uh, my Linux laptop. Uh, and for me, it works better than the Elios Wallet at this point. And I'm excited to be able to let you all know that I've been uh, communicating with Vaklanoff, who is the original creator, Ivan Vaklanoff, of the Swing Wallet. And he's agreed to... Uh, do a version for Zen Cash. He's got some other things in his project pipeline, but uh, you should be able to, you'll see that here in hopefully the next few weeks, uh, July, that kind of time frame. So uh, if you haven't used the, the Swing Wallet yet, please go ahead and, and uh, give that a try. What can you all expect to see going forward? Well, first off, we're going to continue to work hard on carrying out the vision that we've laid out in the white paper. The founders aren't going anywhere, the advisors aren't going anywhere. I hope you all aren't going anywhere and that, that we continue to get more people that are part of our community that want to accomplish the same things that we're looking to do. So, um, we're, we have discussions with uh, software developers that we're looking to put in place longer term contracts with because uh, we need to continue to develop our software and develop uh, different integrations into uh, different uh, software and other things out there. So we're going to, we have our treasury funds that are continuing to build, really not spending much of them right now. Uh, we want to make sure that we put in place a legal entity that's able to look out for the interests of Zen Cash. And we're intending to set that up as a, as a non-profit entity. And that entity is what the treasury funds are going to go to. So instead of the treasury funds going to Rob or Rolf or Jane and hey, you, you got to uh, spend, no, this is, we're going to do it the, this the right way so that the people that have entrusted us to go ahead and carry out what we said we were going to do in the white paper, we're going to do this the right way. We're going to do this in a way that's sustainable for a long period of time. That's one of the reasons that we've got the treasury funds uh, that are part of this as well. Hardware wallets, that's on the plan. So hardware wallets, that takes a little bit of time, takes a little bit of money for us to work with the uh, hardware wallet manufacturers to get Zen Cash onto it. Um, so that's Ledger, Trezor, and Keep Keep. Maybe there'll be other hardware wallet companies uh, out there also but those are the main ones that we're looking at right now. And then mobile device wallets. If we're really going to be using Zen Cash and wanting people worldwide to use it, it's not going to really be on computers, desktop computers or laptop computers. It's really going to be on mobile devices where the action is happening. So we are working towards getting wallets that can handle shielded transactions on mobile devices. And software improvements. We need to continue improving the software, continue, uh, everything continues to change. Um, and we really want to stay at the head of the pack for the type of things that we're doing. We have our, our focus, we have our identity, we have our plan, we have the way that we're doing things. So anyway, that's the update for y'all. And appreciate everybody that's worked with us so far and put your trust in uh, me and the other folks and we're going to do our best to make sure that we do things the right way for you keep everybody up to date on what what's going on and uh, again thanks appreciate it